One of the shoes on my feet cost about $200. The other, about $6,000. Can you tell the difference? How's it going, YouTube? My name's Blake Yarbrough, and welcome back. If you have been following me for the last few years, then you probably recognize what comes in these boxes, the Tom Sachs Marjard 2.0. If you're new to the channel, or this is your first time checking out one of my videos, I do sneaker reviews here on YouTube, as well as like traveling vlogs and things like that to sneaker events. And today we're gonna be talking about the Tom Sachs Marjard. I've got a real pair, as well as a fake pair here on the table. If you're not familiar, back in 2018, I purchased a pair from Stock StockX and they ended up being fake. I didn't find that out until much later on. I made a few videos about that and they got over half a million views. And so if you haven't seen those videos, highly recommend you go check those out, get updated on kind of where we're at now. This is an update video. I'm gonna be showing you the differences between my authentic pair and a fake pair because I wasn't able to do that in the past. And then we'll discuss whether or not you should trust StockX in 2022 when purchasing sneakers. So let's go ahead. I'm gonna show you the differences. I'll tell you which one's real and which one's fake. And the last thing I wanted to mention, if you have been subscribed, then you know I like to do giveaways to show love to you guys watching my videos, showing love to me and my content. This shoe right here, the Nike Air Presto Hello Kitty, is this month's giveaway. All you have to do for my giveaways is subscribe here on my channel, follow me over on Instagram, and for this giveaway in particular, you'll also need to follow Secret Sauce, which is an awesome Discord that I've been working with lately. I really appreciate all that those guys have done for me, so make sure you show some love to Secret Sauce as well. So it's just subscribe to me here on YouTube, follow me over on Instagram and follow Secret Sauce on Instagram for this giveaway in particular. Details are down in the description, but let's start with the packaging. So on this side right here, we've got the authentic box. Okay, so this is my authentic pair. And this right here is a fake or replica pair. Now this is not the pair that I had from StockX. I had to send that pair back for them to inspect. And I, of course I didn't get them back, nor did I want them back. But this is a very, very, very close pair to that fake pair that I got from them. So I wanna make sure that that's clear. This isn't the fake pair that I had, but it's almost identical. So we're able to do the comparison. So this is the fake box. And the first thing I wanna show you guys is the labels. So the labels on these look completely different. This is the authentic pair. This is the fake pair. And on this one, you'll see that it has the new RFID tag. That didn't exist in 2017 when these released. So that's a big red flag on this one. Mine looked a little bit different. It had like foreign stickers on it. And that should have been a red flag to me. But honestly, at the time, I trusted StockX 100%, no doubt about it. When I got them, I assumed that they were real. So I just figured that it was a pair from Asia and there was nothing wrong with it. But this one right here, you can see it's got the standard suggested retail tag and everything. And then the next thing I wanna show you guys is the box lid. This is a huge, huge detail to always check. So you can see the spacing, the size of the font, all of that looks completely different. On the fake box right here, it's much smaller. And overall, the orientation of where everything's placed is different. That's a huge red flag. Every fake pair that I've seen looks like this, and every authentic pair I've seen looks like this. So there shouldn't be any difference in the box lids. And then the other thing I wanna show you guys is maybe like on the back, you've got text all the way around the box, and overall, it doesn't match. The last thing I wanna show you guys is how the shoes sit inside the box. So inside the box on the fake pairs, there's not enough space for the shoes and the extra insoles, the contents of the box barely fit inside the box. That's a huge red flag. Nike would never make a box too small for the shoes. So that is a huge red flag. As you can see in this one, they just fit a lot more comfortably. There's some extra space here for the insoles. And so that is a big red flag. If you can tell or you see a pair in person and the shoes just barely, barely squeeze in there, almost to the point that they rip the box, then that's a red flag that they might be fake. But Let's go ahead, we'll take the shoes out. I'll start with the accessories. I think that might be interesting because the way I felt was when I got my fake pair, I said they have the accessories like the Nike Craft booklet. Okay, so fake, real. So when I got this, I was like, okay, it's got the extra insoles, it's got the booklet, they have to be real, right? Not necessarily, just because the fakes they're able to replicate just about everything that exists. The big difference is, I'm sure you can see it on camera. This one has a glossy finish. 
This one's like a matte finish. The thickness of the pages, the fake booklet or zine is uh, a lot thicker of pages. And the main thing I noticed when looking through it, I will say the size of them is identical. So if you hold them up, the size is identical. However, the order of the pages is not the same. So when you open the first page, you'll see the original on the fake one, you'll see the original Tom Sachs Marshard from 2012. When you open this one to the first page, you see the actual like drawing and sketch that he made of that shoe. Then when we switch to the second page on the authentic one, okay, there they are. When you switch to the second page on this one, you've got the first page. So the pages are out of order. That's an easy way to tell whether it's real or fake, but honestly, this one's glossy, this one's matte. That's a big red flag to look for. And then the insoles. So you've got extra cork insoles. And the reason why they send these is because cork material has an antimicrobial properties. These are actually meant to be worn barefoot. So we'll compare two lefts. So as you can see, the biggest difference, a lot of the fakes actually, the font is like scrunched down to here. That's how my insoles were. I'll pop up a picture, I've got pictures. So mine were way off. The font was like scrunched down, everything was off. These are actually pretty similar. I will say the thickness and some of the spacing is a little bit different. Also like the crispness of the letters is a bit different. And then on the bottom, you can see this is the fake one, this is the real one. This one is a lot more black and the texture of the foam this one's a little bit more like uh, rough and this one's a little bit more smooth kind of hard to describe but that is the main difference in these overall I would say they look pretty similar I don't think the cork material is exactly the same but it is a little bit hard to tell on these that's the main thing though is you can tell by the thickness and the clarity of the lettering now let's go ahead and move into looking at the shoes hey guys wanted to pop in here real quick while we're talking about fake sneakers and tell you about a company that makes authentic carbon fiber accessories. It's simply carbon fiber. They've been a long-term sponsor of this channel and I really like their products. I've been buying things from them back since 2016. And this is their slim wallet right here. It's what I've been carrying lately and I absolutely love it. You can store your cards right here like so, pop them out. I've also got a money clip on this side. I've been using this to tuck in my waistband to slip it on and clip on like that, to keep it out of my pocket. But this is a really great wallet. It's a great Father's Day gift. There's a link down in the description. Also with the discount code, so make sure you check them out. As you know, influencers rely on sponsorships to support their content. I definitely do, and Simply Carbon Fiber has been awesome to me, so check them out. If you need any ideas for Father's Day or maybe for your husband, give them a look. They've got tons of different carbon fiber accessories. Now let's hop back into the video. All right, here we have the Tom Sachs Marjar 2.0. Now this shoe right now goes for a ridiculous amount of money, okay? So these are very, very expensive sneakers if you were to buy an authentic pair, and in that that sense I totally understand people you know not being able to afford it luckily I purchased this authentic pair right here a few years ago and so I still paid a lot of money but right now I couldn't I couldn't buy a pair there's no way I could afford a pair right now and so I totally understand from that perspective you maybe like this shoe just as much as I do and it just doesn't make sense to spend that much money totally understand and so some people choose to buy replicas like this because they do look pretty similar and I'll discuss that later in the video I don't want to drag on too long but this is my all-time grail sneaker I fell in love with the original pair from 2012 and the story behind it and so that's what I like about the sneaker this is the 2.0 version it's got updated materials and things to make the shoe better and although I actually like the original pair better the way it looks it's a little bit different this is as close as I could get to getting that pair okay so that's my love and passion for this sneaker I love the story I'm a big fan of space and like space exploration and just like interesting facts about space and so I really connect with this shoe for that reason and I think Tom Sachs did an amazing job designing them and so let's talk about the differences between these two pairs because the pair that I had from StockX looked nearly identical to this it's basically the same thing and I thought they were real the whole time that was really me putting my trust in StockX, not doing my own research to figure out is this a real pair? I just assumed that they were real. And so I wanna show you guys what to look for if you were going to buy a pair. When you hold them side by side, it is pretty obvious to see if you were just looking at somebody wearing a pair walking by, or maybe just looking at pictures, it can be kind of difficult to tell. So let's start out with the overall shape of the shoe is completely different, okay? So if you hold them in hand, the shape of the shoe, the structure is a lot different, okay? So when I had, the fake pair, they felt a lot more flimsy. You know, I didn't realize that that might mean that they were fake, 
but at the time I just assumed that it was very simple materials which it is and the shoe just didn't have a lot of structure I'll pop up a picture but if you can see on my pair the side of the upper would be like scrunched down you'd have like a wrinkle right here okay so that should have been a red flag but I had no idea I just figured that's how my pair was could have been like a factory flaw or something the structure on the authentic pairs is much better they don't do that I don't have any paper in these and there is paper in these so maybe I should take that out but the overall structure of this shoe and I've worn these a lot the overall structure stays the same with paper without paper the upper stays completely perfect so that's a huge red flag is if the shape this one's like almost kind of shorter and the overall, the curve of the outsole and everything is not the same. The next detail I wanna show you guys is the swoosh. So if you look at the swooshes, this one curves back a good bit more. It's also placed lower on the sneaker. Then look at this swoosh right here. The tip of the swoosh actually, here I'll stack them like this. The tip of the swoosh comes more, it's like almost more straight up and it's also placed higher on the sneaker. There's a gap below the midsole and the bottom of the swoosh. So that's a huge factor. It's the same on the inside, this one. There's no gap down here, whereas you have a gap on this one. And so that's a big factor. The color of the swoosh is a little bit different. And overall, the shape of the swoosh is definitely different. The outsoles on these right here, on this one, it's almost the wrong color. It's like too yellowish to begin with. And overall, the quality of these, even though they look very, very similar, the fake pair that I had as I wore them, because I did wear them, one of these traction pods completely just ripped off like towards the end of me having them. So I would say even though they are very similar, the quality of materials, it's not the same. People will tell you fakes are the same, fakes are the same for the most part. They're not. So the fakes definitely use a little bit lower quality of materials. I will say the suede's look pretty similar. The color is different, but the texture of the suede feels pretty spot on. Just the color I think is a, a bit different. And then on the inside, so you've got these Nike tabs right here. On the inside of the tab, you've got Tom Sachs signature with some writing and there's a difference there. I'll get a good shot for you guys to see, but just like the insoles and the box and everything, the text, the thickness of the text and the crispness of it, the clarity of the text is completely different. And probably what I've noticed most on holding these two shoes together is this leather sock liner. So inside, the shoe you've got this brown like cognac colored leather sock liner on this fake pair right here it feels so cheap it feels very very cheap almost like paper and then on this one it's a much more plush and soft leather it feels like a nice leather chair and so that is a huge difference this one's a little bit darker because i've worn them but overall the texture of the leather this feels very 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 cheap almost like paper and so those are some of the details that you should look for if you're trying to purchase a pair of these because there are a lot of fakes out there a lot if you look on goat used where you can see pictures there's fakes on there that people are trying to sell and hopefully goat if somebody sold a pair would do a good job of authenticating them and i trust goat probably a little bit more than StockX. i'll show you this insole as well and then we'll talk about StockX. so here is the two insoles you can see it's pretty similar i would say Say the same thing this real one right here the letters just look a lot more clear than this one over here and that's because they're not going to be able to replicate that 100 percent they'll get pretty close this is pretty close but it's not the same same thing on the bottom the color of the padding is not the same you may or may not be able to see it on camera but in hand the quality of this one is a little bit better it's a simple foam insole i get it but the quality of how it's put together is a little bit different and so let's talk about stock x i feel like stock x has been getting a lot of heat lately from Nike especially for apparently selling Nike employees fake shoes or Nike purchase shoes. And so I think that's really interesting. Um, I'm not sure what Nike's angle is on making those claims. I feel like it has something to do with like their whole NFT battle and dispute that they've got going on with StockX. But does StockX sell fake shoes? Well, clearly they have, they've made mistakes and that's impossible in my opinion to avoid. It's impossible. I'm sure Goat has had it happen. I'm sure other resale platforms have had it happen. It's nearly impossible. We're all humans. We make mistakes. I think the biggest takeaway from it is that if you are buying from a resale platform, if you're not buying directly from Nike or from a retail environment, you have to be aware that it is possible that it could happen to you. Now, does StockX sell a lot of fakes? I don't think they sell a lot of fakes. I think they probably have it happen, you know, every so often, probably in the low single digit 
percentage, which still, you know, is unfortunate because I know that their customer service, while personally, I feel like it has gotten better, I still don't think it's as good as it could be or should be when people are spending hundreds and hundreds or thousands of dollars on one pair of sneakers. So that's my opinion on it. I think it's an okay platform to purchase from, but you have to be aware of what to look for and, you know, really do your research on the shoe that you're purchasing, how to know if it's real or fake. And honestly, I'd probably just buy from Goat. I trust Goat a lot more. I feel like their process is a lot better. I feel like their customer service is a lot better. Their fees are a lot less. So personally, I trust Goat more than StockX. That is my like stance as of right now in 2022. If I was going to buy something like this again, I would definitely purchase it from Goat or, you know, a store like Flight Club or Stadium Goods where I could see the sneaker in person and probably have a lot better customer service if there was some type of issue because going through StockX, trying to email them, you can't talk to anybody on the phone. I just feel like that's really impersonal and something that that's kind of disrespectful, I feel like, to the sneaker community. So if you guys choose to buy from StockX, just be aware that mistakes happen and you need to be vigilant as far as trying to make it right. There is one more detail I want to show you guys as I'm looking at these. So the foam, you've got exposed foam here on the tongue and I'll have Nick get a good shot of this, but the color of the foam, now mine's aged some, okay, but the authentic pairs will never look this white. The foam will never look this white, but it's got like holes cut out on the edges and on this pair it's kind of got it on this side but the sizing of it's terrible and then on this one it's just flat so it's the quality it's the small details guys when it comes to replicas like this it's the small details that make the difference on whether they're real or authentic and overall the quality of the materials is not the same maybe on you know, a fake pair of Jordan 1s, the quality's closer. On this pair in particular, the quality is definitely not the same. And so let's talk about that. You know, why would I spend, I spent $3,000 for this pair right here. Originally I paid $1,650 in 2018. So the prices have only went up. Now a new pair of these, it's like six or $7,000, which in my opinion is ridiculous. I'm not saying that I'm, I'm not trying to justify the price of these by any means. It's absolutely ridiculous. But for me, this would be the same as maybe buying a Rolex or, you know, buying a car, you know, an expensive car, like a dream car, a dream house, going on a dream vacation, whatever you choose to spend your money on, you know, that's what this is to me. And so everybody's got their own thing. Maybe buying these shoes is absolutely ridiculous, but you'd buy a Louis Vuitton purse or a book bag, or maybe you just, you know, travel and spend $10,000 on a vacation, whatever it is, everybody's got their own thing. Maybe you like to go fishing and you spend $5,000 on a fishing rod. It's really irrelevant how everybody else spends their money because I work super hard to be able to afford things like this and that's why I want to buy something authentic. I want to earn this. I want to own the real thing. I like to collect things. I've always enjoyed collecting things since I was younger and I always wanted it to be authentic. Whether it was something I saw in a movie, like a movie prop, you know, I wanted to get that same t-shirt that the actor might have had on. And so it's just things like that. I don't want like a replica of that t-shirt while for some people they don't mind it and that's fine it's the difference of opinion and I just wanted to let you guys know try to help you guys understand where I'm coming from why I would spend this much money on a sneaker I do realize that it is ridiculous but it's what I love and I think you can't put a price on that and so that's why this shoe right here is in my possession I will wear them to death and I think probably the thing I see most in the comments is well if you love them so much why did you try to sell them well, things happen in life. This is a material possession, right? So if something comes up, let's say I need a procedure or maybe you know somebody in my family needs money or whatever it may be, whatever the case may be, something much larger than owning a sneaker, okay? So even though this is a grail, life is much more important than owning a sneaker. And so I sold them to get some money. I needed some money very quickly. And so I sold them and then planned on, again, earning, working back to buying another pair. These are replaceable. Other things in life are not replaceable. So that answers that question. If you disagree with that, that's totally fine because that's my answer. And I think most people would, you know, there are the people that will just always disagree with you but that's just how things go i appreciate you guys watching this video i'm glad that after a year and a half i was able to get another 
fake pair so that I could do a comparison. Like I said, the other fake pair I had to send back to StockX and that's how I was able to get a refund. But this is the fake pair. This is the real pair. Let me know down in the comments. Can you tell a difference? Does it matter to you? Do you buy replicas? Do you buy authentic sneakers? It's a big controversial topic. I feel like some people are this way. Some people are this way, but let me know what you guys think. Again, thank you for watching. If you haven't subscribed already, make sure you subscribe down below. Giveaways and reviews every single week here on my channel. I appreciate you guys so much. And with all that, we are on to the next sneaker.